to get started on the head part of the teddy bear, I'm just going to make my slip knot. So all I'm going to do is chain two. And then in that first chain, I'm going to place six single crochets. Then I'm going to join um, the uh, round together in that very first single crochet you made in the chain and I'm going to connect it with a slip stitch. Then on the second round, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to be placing two single crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm gonna be placing two single crochets through the next stitch and so on. So each chain or each stitch is going to get two single crochets in that same chain. Sorry, my terminology is not very accurate. Then you're going to connect it to the very first uh, single crochet of that round with a slip stitch. On the third round, you're going to chain one, place two single crochets in that first stitch, and then you're going to place one single crochet in the next three chains, so one each, so number three, and then two single crochets in that next stitch, so that is going to be pattern for round three. So then once you've reached the end, just connect that with a slip stitch. So for round four, you're going to chain one and place two double crochets in that very first stitch. And then you're going to place one single crochet in each of the next four chains. And then on the very next chain, you're going to be placing two double crochets through that same chain. And then you're just gonna continue that for round four. So now I'm on the fifth round. I'm just going to chain one, place two single crochets in that very first stitch. Then I'm gonna be placing one single crochet in each of the next five chains. Then I'm going to place two double crochets I'm sorry, single crochets on the sixth chain after. So that's all I'm going to be doing. Basically for the next, for round six, I'm going to be doing the same pattern, uh, except on the sixth round, you will have uh, six single crochets straight away instead of five. So the written pattern will be down in the info box. I'm just going to do the fifth and the sixth round, basically the same, except the sixth round, you have uh, six single crochet straightaways before your increase. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing. I'm just gonna do the next two rows and come back for the seventh round. So now for the seventh round, I'm just going to chain one. Then all you're doing is placing one single crochet in each chain of this round. For the eighth round, you're going to chain one, place two uh, single crochets through that same stitch. Then you're going to place one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then on the fourth you're going to increase placing two single crochets in that same stitch and then just repeat that for round eight so now I am on round nine so for round nine ten and eleven we are going to be increasing in all three rounds so for round nine in the beginning of the next three rounds you're going to chain one place two single crochets in that first chain then for this round, on round nine, we are going to have a uh, one single crochet in each of the first four chains, and then we're going to increase. On round 10, we are going to have one single crochet in each of the first five chains, and then increase. On round 11, we are going to have one single crochet in each of the first six chains, and then increase. So that's going to be the pattern for the next three rounds. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the next three rounds just because the pattern is basically the same except you have one more stitch in each round so 
Um, the written pattern will be down below if you need reference, but I'm gonna come back once I'm on round 12. So now I'm on the 12th round. Um, for round 12, you're just going to chain one and then place one single crochet in each chain. There's gonna be no increasing in round 12. So for round 13, we're gonna go back to increasing. So just chain one, place two single crochets in that first chain. And then we're gonna have a uh, seven stitch straight away. So one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. And then you're going to increase on the eighth and then that's going to be your pattern for round 13. So now round 14 through 16, chain one, and you're gonna be placing one single crochet in each chain for the next three rounds. So now I've finished um, through the 16th row. On the 17th row, we're gonna begin decreasing. So just chain one, um, and then we're going to decrease in the first two chains. And then we're going to have a, a seven stitch straight away. So we're gonna have one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. And then you are going to decrease on the stitch after. So that's what you're gonna do for the 17th round. So now I've finished with the 17th round. Um, and now for the 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24th round, you're going to be alternating in between doing a row of just no decreases, just one single crochet per chain, and then the next row would be a decrease. So the 18th round, I'm just going to be um, placing one single crochet in each chain, so no decreases. The 19th round, I am going to decrease in the very first chain, and then do a row of six with um, one single crochet in uh, each chain for the next six chains, and then decrease. Then the 20th round will be no decrease, 21st will be decrease with a uh, straightaway of five. 22nd will be no decrease, 23rd will be a decrease with a straightaway of three. The pattern will be listed down below, but that's basically all I'm going to be doing. And I'm gonna come back on the 25th round, so I'm gonna be alternating. But yeah, I will be back on the 25th round. So for the 25th, 26th, and 27th round, um, I have finished through the 25th round. Um, you are just gonna continue to decrease. So the 25th round, you decrease in the first chain and then you have a, a three chains straight away where you're placing one single crochet in the next three chains and then you decrease. 26th round is the same thing except your straight away um, chains for single crochets are just two. And then on the 27th round, you are just decreasing, placing one single crochet, then decreasing in the next chain. So you're alternating decreases in one chain. So that's all you're doing. And once you're finished with the 27th round, all I'm gonna do is start to stuff the head with some cotton. Um, and then on the 28th round, um, you decrease in every single chain to close the back of the head. And that is all. Um, sorry, I'm just not I'm not really like walking you through every single step. It just gets so repetitive. This video is gonna be really long already. So I am on the 26th round. I'm just going to decrease. And then the 26th round, I am only placing uh, double crochets in each of the next two chains. And then I'm gonna decrease again. So I'm just going to do that for this row and then the 27th row, stuff the head, 28th row, I'm decreasing in every single chain. So once you're finished with the head, I'm just going to start on making both of the ears. So I'm just making a simple slip stitch and I'm going to chain two. Then in that very first chain of the row, I'm going to be placing a total of six single crochets through that chain. Once you're finished placing these six single crochets, just connect that to the very first stitch with a slip stitch, chain one, and then for round two, you're going to be placing two single crochets in every chain in this round. So at the end of round two, connect that together with a slip stitch, chain one, and for round three, you're going to be placing two single crochet in the first chain one single crochet in the chain after, and then repeat that pattern for the entire round three. 
Then you're going to connect the very end together with a slip stitch, cut off the end, fasten it, and then we are going to be leaving kind of a long tail so that we can just weave that directly onto the head of the teddy bear. So as you can see, I'm just going to leave in this clip. This is all I'm doing to weave it in. If you have a sewing needle and thread that you would prefer to attach with, then go ahead and do that. But this is just what I'm going to do for my ears. So now I'm going to get started on the legs. Just make a slip knot and you're going to chain a total of 10. Once you have the chain 10, you're going to be placing one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then you're going to be placing one single crochet in each of the next seven chains going back down your row. So now in the eighth stitch of the row, you're going to be placing two single crochet, switching over to the other side of the foundation chain, placing two more single crochet in that same stitch. So you have a total of four. Then working along the other side of the row, you're going to be placing one single crochet in each of the next seven chains. So on that very last chain of the row, I'm going to be placing a total of three single crochets once you have three cr single crochets in that last chain, I'm going to connect it to the very first chain of the row with a slip stitch. So for round two, chain one, you're going to be placing one single crochet in each of the next nine chains. Once you have the nine, um, on the tenth chain, you're going to be placing two single crochet in that same chain. And then the very next chain also you're going to be placing two single crochet through that same chain. And then again you're going back to placing one single crochet in each of the next nine chains. And then the last two chains of this round two are going to get two single crochets um, in that same chain for both of the last chains. And then once you have that you are going to be slip stitching it to the very first chain of the round. For rounds three and four, I'm going to be chaining one and just placing one single crochet in each chain. So no increases for the next two rounds. For the fifth round, you're going to chain one and place one single crochet into the next seven chains. On the eighth chain, you are going to decrease four times. Once you have decreased four times, you're going to place one single crochet into the next 11 chains. And then you will slip stitch into the first single crochet of round five. Now at the beginning of the sixth round, you're going to chain one and for the sixth through the thirteenth rounds without joining at the end of each round, we're going to work in a spiral for eight rounds total, just placing one single crochet in each chain for the next eight rounds. So once you have completed the eight rounds of a spiral, on the fourteenth round, you are going to uh, just continue the spiral, one double crochet into each of the next four chains. And then we will be decreasing on the fifth chain. So on the fifth chain of this round, you're going to place one decrease. Once you have that, then you're going to work one single crochet into each of the next nine chains and then decrease on the chain after. Then you're just going to be working one single crochet into the next five chains to finish the round. So once I have worked my way back 
for the 15th through the 18th rounds, I'm going to be working in four rounds without shaping. So again, just continue the spiral, placing one single crochet in each chain for four rounds. On the 19th round, I'm just going to decrease in that very first chain of the round. And then I'm going to place one single crochet into the next three chains. And then I'm going to repeat that four times. So decrease on the chain after the three straight away. So then on the 20th through the 23rd rounds, work four rounds without shaping. On the 24th round, here I just decreased in that very first chain. Then I'm going to be placing one single crochet in each of the next two chains, and I'm going to decrease again after that. So for the 25th round, uh, you're just going to begin stuffing. Work one round without shaping, and then that's it for the legs. To begin on the pattern for the arms, just make a slip knot and chain two. For this first round, you are going to be working six single crochets into the second chain from the hook. Then you're going to join that with a slip stitch into the very first chain. And I think I accidentally deleted the footage for round two, but all you're going to do is chain one and place two single crochets in each chain. So now this is round three, I'm chaining one. And now all you're going to do is place two single crochets in the first chain. In the chain after, you're going to be placing one single crochet. The chain after, place two single crochets. So just repeat that pattern for round three and then connect the round together with a slip stitch. For the fourth through 18th rounds, we are just chaining one at the beginning of the fourth round. You're going to be placing one single crochet in each chain, and without joining at the end of each round, you're going to work in a spiral for the next 15 rounds. So for the 19th round, you are going to decrease in that very first chain of the round, and then you're going to place one single crochet into the next four chains. And then you're just going to repeat that uh, pattern three times for round 19. For the 20th through the 25th rounds, I'm just going to work six rounds without shaping um, and continuing the spiral. So one single crochet in each chain for the next six rounds. So once I'm on the 26th round, I'm just going to be decreasing. So just place one decrease in that very first chain. Place one single crochet into each of the next three chains. And then decrease again. So you're going to repeat that pattern three times. And then once you're finished with round 26, I'm just going to start stuffing the arm. Um, work one round without increasing or decreasing, and then that's it. So I'm just going to fasten it off. And as you can see, I'm just weaving uh, the arms onto the body the same manner that I did the ears. So I'm just making sure I have a long tail when I'm cutting my yarn um, for each piece. And I'm just using that same yarn to connect the arms, legs, ears, and head onto the body. So just start connecting all of the pieces onto your teddy bear. Um, this all I'm going to do, you're basically done with the tutorial. Um, I do the same uh, pattern or the same method of uh, placing the eyes and the nose onto my teddy bear. I'm just using basic black yarn, um, doing that same looping pattern for the strap. I just did a chain of three over and over and over again until you get the length you want and you attach that the same way that you do the arms and the legs. So um, that's all for this tutorial. I'm sorry it was a little bit fast at the end. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will see you in my next video.